Hello guys, today I want to talk about one of my favorite topics which is hair. Hair is a very big point in our life. We want to have beautiful hair, shiny hair, smooth hair. This is something that everyone wishes for. I'm a hairdresser since over 13 years. I know about hair very well. I want to give you some advices and tips that you can use and beneficial from after this video. I want to show you, make you understand the situation of an hair that you can actually also understand it at home and know what you have to do. So I would say let's start. I'm using at home the Elements Velar Hair Care. The Elements Hair Care is basically a product that includes keratin. What is keratin guys? Keratin is one of the amino acids that is needed for your hair. Your hair is made out of different amino acids. This product includes one of the amino acids. People who have broken hair should use a keratin product. This product is renewing your hair and makes your hair stronger. It is basically kind of a filler. When you're using a keratin included product, you can imagine it's closing the holes in the hair. This is super, super important. It makes it stronger and it makes it shiny. That's why I'm using Elements Vela products. A lot of people ask me every single day, which product should I use? One thing to be very, very clear about, a product like a shampoo is just a cleanser. For sure, there is a little bit of beneficial proteins inside, but at the end of the day, it's a cleanser. It has nothing to do with a big, big hair care or like a treatment for your hair. Therefore, we come to the next point. So normally you start your process with washing your hair using a shampoo for cleansing the hair. So shampoo has not a big impact in the hair care. The most important product that you should use is a hair mask. The mask is the only product which is really deeply carrying your hair. It goes into the deepest of your hair and it cares it. It makes it healthy, it makes it stronger. This is what a mask is doing. And conditioner is actually not a big hair care. People think if they're using a conditioner, that their hair is gonna make like make your hair look better for long terms. No, it's not. It's a very short process. It's just closing the cuticles from outside. That's why you have the feeling that it's shiny, that it looks good, but it's just for a short moment. So that's why it's super important to use a mask. A mask is from inside to outside. I wanna demonstrate you how the hair looks. This is a pine cone. Imagine this would be a hair. The hair looks very shiny, soft, feels good. The light can reflect perfectly. As long as there's light coming, it reflects and it's shining bright. This is what it's actually doing. It's the same with the hair. This pine cone, imagine is a very destroyed hair. It doesn't feel good. It's not soft, it doesn't reflect light. It's very matte, it doesn't feel good, so. This is an opened hair. Imagine like a very blonded hair looks like that. That's why you have to make the hair look like this. It has to be closed, shiny, and good looking. A shampoo is not a big, big hair care. What the shampoo does, it's like on the pH, more on the alkaline side. Why? It has to clean the hair. It has to clean the hair out of all the stuff that is stuck in. That's why a cleanser can't be a big impact in a care. People, if you're using a shampoo, don't think that if you're using just a shampoo that your hair is gonna look very, very good and it's gonna be softer and better and, and think that you can just make a big impact with a shampoo. It's not like that. Don't think like this. Even the shampoo tells you that. It's not like that. What is the most important part in the hair is a mask. Why? Imagine it. Shampoo opens the cuticles. It cleanses everything out of the hair. A mask does nothing else than putting all the minerals and all the proteins that your hair uses, keratin and all the amino acids into your hair. And what a mask doesn't do, it doesn't close the cuticle. The mask was working for 15 minutes into your hair, putting all this stuff inside. And now, you just wash the hair off, got out of shower, that's it. 
That's not good, guys. Why? This pine cone. Imagine it. It would stay like this. Yeah, there's a lot of minerals inside, but it would stay like this. And what do you want? You want this. So why? What should you do? You should use what? A conditioner. Exactly. Guys, a conditioner is doing nothing else than closing the cuticle. It's basically something which is in the pH, more on the acid side. What a, what a conditioner does, it is maybe some care for your hair from the outside of the cuticle. But it's not going inside and it can't go inside. Why? Because it closed the hair and this is something maybe you recognized. After a mask and after a conditioner, your hair feels totally different. A conditioner mostly feels much softer and your hair shines much brighter than after a mask. That's why a lot of people think, oh, if they're using a conditioner, the hairs feel much better, maybe for the moment, but not long terms. So make sure, if you're using a mask, you should use conditioner. There was a picture that I saw, and I wanna show you this picture, guys. This is a cross section of a hair shaft. You can see the medulla, the cortex, and the hair cuticle. There's actually even another picture where you can see it better. So imagine this cuticle from outside, is transparent, it has no color. The cortex is actually the place where all the pigments are inside. This is also the place where all the moisture gets storage. So whenever you do a mask, all the proteins gonna go there inside and you want them to go inside there. So here you can see how the hair is connected to all the nerves and the blood vessels. So whenever you pull on your hair, that's why you feel it on your nerves. And that's why it's super important to take care of whatever you're eating, whatever you're drinking, all the healthy stuff that is going into your body is connected to your hair. So take care to include in your daily diet a lot of vitamin A, B, C and D and also a lot of iron, zinc and proteins. And just don't forget, drink a lot of water, it's super important. So after I had shampooed my hair, the cuticles open, I put a mask on, that's good. The mask is rich in proteins and aminos. Conditioner closed the cuticle. It's more on the acid side, more sour. So the hair is closed again. What you can do as well, a small tip from me. You can use cold water at the last washing. Cold water is actually really, really good for your hair. Warm water opens your hair. Cold water closes your hair. So make sure to use warm water at the beginning and cold water at the end. That's important. After I made all this, I use liquid hair. You can use it after showering, for example. Put it in the wet hair, leave it inside and dry it with warm air. It's super important, why? This product is full of amino acids. It's liquid hair, as the name is saying. You can put it in your hair and it's basically a filler for your whole hair. It's very rich, it, it's super good for your hair. I can recommend this product for everyone there outside, for everyone. There's no person who couldn't use this product. This product is actually really, really rich in amino acids. And it makes the hair softer, stronger, and amino acids are super important for our hair. Put it on your hair, on the wet hair, and now you dry it with warm air. The warm effect makes it go very deeply into your hair. This product, you can use it once a week. So as the last product that I'm using is Sebastian Dark Oil. Gives me a big gloss, it's rich in proteins, it makes my hair feel so soft. And what I normally need, like when I washed my hair, I made all this procedure, I put it on. The first or the first two days, my hair still doesn't feel like it was before washing my hair. When I put an oil in, my hair feels actually the same like it was before. The hair is not flying, it's not like, you know, going crazy, so you have still good texture for your hair and it's actually not making heavy. This product you could use even for blow drying your hair on volume. It's really, really good. It makes your hair feel like really special and I like this product because it's super beneficial in terms of if I don't want to wait two days till my hair looks good. 
super important. I mean, you want to go out tonight. I don't want to go out tomorrow. I want to go out tonight. I want to look that the hair looks good now. This product I recommend for everyone outside. I don't know if you registered that, but a shampoo which has a clear consistency is always more on the cleansing side. A shampoo which has a milky consistency is always more on the caring side. Like for people who have very oily hair, they should never use a shampoo which has a milky consistency. Why? Because it's not so extremely cleansing. So then clearer the shampoo, then more cleansing it is. So what I would recommend for people who want to cleanse their hair, for example, oily hair, should use a clear consistency. But a person who has very thin hair, no volume and all this kind of stuff, should also use a shampoo with clear consistency. Why? Because every product which makes the hair too heavy, not gonna have volume. So people who have very thin hair have to be very careful with that. Use a clear consistency. So a shampoo with a milky consistency is not bad. I'm not saying that. For example, a hair which is blonded, bleached, super destroyed, use it as milky as possible. Why? Because it's super beneficial for your hair. So you should use this product and everyone should know which hair type he is. So just make clear, always imagine this. If you have a very thin hair, this would be good for you. You know, like cleansing products. Why? Because it makes your hair open, makes it rough, more volume. Always remember this pine cone principle. And if you start to understand and to listen to your hair, you know what is beneficial for you and you know how to treat it. I'm gonna link this product for everyone who wants to use these products. Super beneficial for you. Also these ones, very good for your hair and it's actually almost for every hair type. So, humidifier is super important. Just put it at home, next to your bed or wherever you are because like always make sure there's enough humidity in the air at home because in the winter times, as we have now, it's close to Christmas, or it's gonna be Christmas when I'm posting this video, it's very, very warm at home. So all these heatings are drying your skin out, your lips out, your hair out, everything. You know, it's super important to use a humidifier or something like, you could even put a big bottle of water next to your heating, also fine. But always try to make sure to be humidified. I'm gonna link also a humidifier inside this video just for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope it was very, very helpful. Use these links down below in the description box. Make sure that you use also all these tips that I gave you, super beneficial for you guys. And I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up, give it a comment, and I hope to see you guys very, very soon. Love you guys, peace.